Hello, Aries. Welcome to your New Year's read. We're using a different deck because it's a different kind of read, right? Aries, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, so please check your charts. This is specifically for the sign of Aries. Um, cross watchers, whatever. You're here. <laughs> if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. This is a review for 2020. The year where everyone's getting their get up. Hopefully there's no plot twist. But anyway, let's see, Aries. You're leaving 2019. Plus, this is strength card reverse. Someone fell for their vices, I feel like. That's how you're going out, or you fell for your vices. A bit of temptation came your way. In the first quarter of 2020, we got the Knight of Cups. In the second quarter... We have the art card reverse, also known as temperance. We have the Aeon or Judgments card reverse in the third quarter. And then in the final quarter, we have the da da da. What am I trying to say? Three of Swords reverse. Hmm. So in your first quarter, Aries, there's going to be this, like, desire to take love somewhere. But something doesn't come together the way you want it to by the fourth quarter, you know, like, uh, spring, summer, autumn, winter, if you will. At least that's how my year goes. I don't know about yours, but that's how my years go. Anyway, um... There seems to be the beginning of something fruitful. Maybe with a water sign who's offering to you. Or, this is what you could be doing, like riding out to distribute your love somewhere. Um, but it doesn't mesh either with another person or with the uh, systems of beliefs or whatever with other people, right? And then we have the Aeon card, which is also justice, traditionally. But this is more like a creator or creation. It's like something isn't like working the way the creator wants it to. It's like the people rebelled. It's like the people didn't give a shit. And then we have the Three of Swords reversed right here, which is like... It's not sorrowful as much as it is a bitter end, you know? So, let's see. Hard. For this first quarter, right? You might want to go deep inside and look at things as they go with the Hermit card. Could be dealing with Virgo or just that energy. It's about the internal, the self, right? It made me realize that there's no reason to keep up this ingenuity and savvy three sword three wands reverse. Um, this is kind of like um, there's if someone keeps coming up with ideas to continue on with something and, and and wait on something, but here it's like when you go inside, it might be a, to a point where you just decide that there's no reason to continue on um, with a certain venture, maybe with offering your cup up as the knight riding up and like taking the action, if you will. In the second quarter with the art or temperance card reverse, something isn't coming together. It's not meshing the way it's supposed to. You want to get out of this tortured and crucified headspace. Possibly will be anyway. Uh, it, it, it feels like you can't come up with a solution. The Aeon reversed over here. Ten of Cups, things did not blend well together, they did not mend, and now someone's feeling the concern and complexity of being left out in the cold. Hmm. 
Mm. Aries, I think for 2020, you might be ending up realizing in the beginning that there's no reason to continue something. But you're having issues ending it. If you will. Like, there's no reason to continue on with anything. But it's like you, you won't be able to figure a way out of it. And in a sense, it might... Sometime. Thank you. It might, um... Have you a bit... Stuck not knowing the resolution. So the Three of Swords reverse is not sorrowful as much as it is a bitter end. A bitter ending for a bitter year, I feel like, possibly. Yeah. Coming out of this turmoil and disorder with the Five of Wands reverse, I feel like there was a lot of conflict. Something to do with the gifts and bounties of the past. Sure about that one. Actually, I'm going to drop one more. Gifts and bounties. That's a six of coins, so it's like possibly a past relationship. There might have been something going on right there. King of Pentacles, coins, reverse. Not very dedicated, not very adamant. Like, he's kind of surprised looking at that shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Aries, it seems like um, you, you could be possibly dealing with a uh, earth sign. But also up here, it's like Queen of Wands. It's like... She might be a little bit tipsy on her throne, too. You know, it's like she's not really paying attention to what's going on a little bit. I don't know. I'm not sure about this king of pentacles either because he's just like it's like he just woke up or he's pretending like he just woke up i don't know how are you going into 2020 the devil magnetism war could be dealing with capricorn or leo as well Well, Aries. Let's see. How are each quarters going to end for you? Yeah, like you there's temptations here and then and it's a magnetism and lore going into um 21 20. It's like at the very end you get tempted with something and that magnet's just there to catch your attention. It's making you question. Is coming out of this turmoil a gift from this uh, king of coin? Sounds like you don't have respect for him. But I don't know, it's like he gives you something that releases it. Let's see. Up in this first quarter, three of pentacles reverse. Something isn't working. Literally says works. No, it's not. It's not. None of these triangles are the same. One of them keeps hitting the fucking wall every goddamn minute. No reason. It's like surrounded by almost like a shield of ice, too. It's like there's no movement. Nothing's working in this scenario, Aries. For a second quarter. Two of swords. There is no peace. All that indecision, the swords being crossed. Ugh, Aries, your year is kind of harsh. Like, for reals. 
Third quarter, eight of cups reverse indolences. I don't know what that means. Um, the f phone, help me, please. What is an indolence? Avoidance of activity or exertion. Laziness. Someone doesn't want to be lazy anymore, I guess. Or they want to put the work in here? Because it's like all this unhappiness isn't helping anybody, you know? It seems like it's just getting worse before it'll get better. It's like what someone's created here or the lack of creation is causes a problem. But someone will eventually want to start working on something. I don't know if it's with this scenario or with something else, but someone needs to leave this shit behind because it's not good. I feel like Aries, whatever you're into. All right, this fourth quarter, how is it going to end for you for 2020? Queen of Wands again, reverse. This time she looks like she's going to send her cat to maul somebody. Definitely could be you. Also could be Sagittarius or Leo. Coming out of turmoil with is a gift from the past from King of Pentacles. Like, I think you're just mad for the year of 2020, Aries. How are you leaving out of 2020? Six of Pentacles reversed. Successful, you are not. You don't feel like there's a lot of balance or equality here. For whatever reason, but that's the forecast I got for yours kind of messed up but hopefully this will help you figure some things out it's just a review there little predictions probably isn't even right but i will see you guys later love your faces bye, -bye.